let's take a look at the advanced custom fields flexible content support in Breakdance. So here I have a services page and on it, I have an advanced custom fields flexible content field, which I've filled out with content. And let's open up the page. And this is all rendering with Breakdance. Let's go ahead and add another feature section right here. So I'll go back to the page. I'll close the existing fields and then I'll go add row. And let's choose dual column feature left. Let's drag it up here. And let's just call this my third feature, text description for my third feature, learn more, and the button URL will just be homepage slash feature three. And let's choose an image for this feature. I don't think we've used that one yet. And let's go ahead and update the page. And now let's take a look on the front end. And that third feature is now showing up. Let's take a look at how I've set this up in advanced custom fields, and then I'll show you how to set it all up in Breakdance. So in advanced custom fields under post type, I created a services post type. That's what you're seeing right there. In advanced custom fields under field groups, I created a services page field group. I've applied that to the post type that is equal to service. And then I've created a flexible content field in this field group, and I've created five different layouts. And here I, I've specified the fields I want the user to be able to fill out. Now let's take a look at how we set things up in Breakdance for this to render. So in Breakdance, I created a template for the services page. It applies to the location single services. And let's open this template up in Breakdance. I'll do that in a new tab so I can show you the global blocks as well. So here it is in Breakdance. And we're using the flexible content element. So you go to add flexible content, there's the element. And the flexible content element lets you choose the flexible content field you want to render data from. In this case, I've chosen this one. And then it lets you choose the global blocks you want to associate with each row layout. So here I've configured my blocks. I chose for the hero row layout. I want to use this global block called hero that I've created. Let's go over to the breakdance global block section and take a look at the global blocks. Here are the global blocks I've created. Let's take a look at one in breakdance. Here is the hero global block. Here we've wired up the design to the associated fields in advanced custom fields using Breakdance's dynamic data functionality. To get a preview, we'll go to the preview dropdown, click settings, choose the field we want to preview. And it's working right now because the hero section is the first row. Otherwise, we would have to specify the row index if we wanted to preview, for example, the second or third or fourth row in the field group. Now let's learn how to add more fields to our flexible content field and create an associated design in Breakdance. So here I am in ACF field groups. Let's edit the field group. Let's edit the field itself and let's add another layout. So we'll click add layout and I'm going to call this layout call to action. And for the fields, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here yet. Let's actually find the design we want to use. So I'm going to leave this tab open. I'm going to go to Breakdance global blocks, open this in a new tab. Let's add the global block we're going to use for our call to action. So click add global block, call to action, add global block. Let's go ahead and edit this global block in breakdance. And let's find a design from the library. I'm using the Samba design set here. Let's find call to actions. And let's find one that we like. This one's fine. So we're going to use this. Let's delete the image. We don't want that here. And we're going to let the user customize this and this and this. So that means we need to specify a heading field, a button text field, a second button text field, and two button URL fields. So let's add a field back in advanced custom fields. We will call this one heading. It'll be a text field. Let's add another field. We'll call this one button one text. Let's add another field. We'll call this button one URL. We'll make this one a URL field. Let's add another field. This is going to be called button two text and another field called button two URL, which is a URL field. Okay, that's what we need. Let's go ahead and save the changes there and save changes once more. Okay, now let's go to our services page and edit it. And let's add a row that uses that call to action. So add row, we'll choose call to action and let's fill this out. Let's get 
you started will be our heading. Button one text would be get it now. URL is going to be slash purchase. Button two text is going to be contact us. URL is going to be slash support. Okay, great. We filled in our data. We've created our fields and advanced custom fields. Let's wire it up in Breakdance. So let's go back to our global block and let's choose the heading and open the dynamic data dialog and let's scroll down to our call to action heading field and we'll link that up. Let's go to our button, open the dynamic data dialog. Let's choose button one text for the link. Let's set that dynamically to button one URL. Let's do the same for button two. We'll set the text to button two text, and we'll set the URL to button two URL. And now let's make sure the preview actually works. So let's go to preview, let's choose settings, let's choose that field we wanna actually preview. And I think that was the sixth row, was it? Yes, that was the sixth row. So there we go, let's get you started. Get it now, contact us, that preview works. Now let's check that it all works on the front end. So let's go over to the services page and we need to choose a global block from the dropdown for the layout call to action because we actually haven't done that yet. So let's go to Breakdance. Let's open the services template. And once this flexible content field loads, let's click it. And then let's go to blocks. And as you can see, we haven't chosen a block for that call to action layout yet. Let's choose add block, layout, call to action, block, call to action. And there we go, now it actually works. Let's save and take a look on the front end for real. And voila, there you go. Advanced custom fields, flexible content.